Hands to the sky, I know my side Focus on my side, baby I'm gonna die for you And I'm tired, I'm tired of trying to force shit, bro. Like, when I look at the rest of my life, bro, I don't force shit with music. Like, if I'm not feeling it no more, bro, I stop recording. <laughs> if I don't want to edit, I stop editing and I do something else, bro. Like, I'm not forcing shit no more, bro, because the more you try to make some shit, it comes out ugly as shit. Whether it be the relationship, whether it be the art I'm working on, whether it be a friendship. Like, the more you try to force a relationship, force a thing, it comes out ugly as shit. Cause you're not naturally letting it flow, bro. Mm. So I'm not gonna do that, bro. It's a waste of energy too. Bro. So oh, we like, we, we here chopping it up, bro. This is a like this is, we're not forcing this, bro. Remember those days where we try to where I try to be like, yo, let's get on Riverside and you wasn't feeling it? Mm-hmm. And then there's days where you told me and I wasn't feeling it, like we would have been forcing it and you kind of we both kind of feel it when we're forcing it and we're like, all right, bro, let's just do it another day. Mm-hmm. And now we're both vibing. I'm like, like I'm chilling right now. Type shit. And it's a good like people finna feel that energy. That's what I'm on right now, bro. It's like in my whole life, not just with this like one um like uh concept. Like that's how I am with my whole life. Like I'm not forcing shit, bro. There's no point. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I um I kind of stopped forcing it. However, sometimes I can feel when I start start doing it. Mm. Like for like for example, today, um, when I was telling you about my situation earlier, at first I wasn't forcing it. I was just being myself and I was naturally doing what I usually do. Like mm. I'm a very caring person. I like I usually do the things I do. Yeah. But as time went on, like, I started kind of forcing it a little bit because of the situation. However, I didn't have to force anything because I've, I'm have i already there. I just got to just be myself and continue to do what I do. But once it gets to, once it gets to, like, when the conversation, I know the conversation is over, I got to start being, like, for sure. Like, I got to just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. And there's no hard feelings at that. But I, I have a hard time doing that shit. Why do you think so? Um, I think the thing is because, like, I care too much about the person. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, I don't want to, like, leave, per se. Mm. But I don't talk a lot anyway. Like, I'm, I'm someone who doesn't really talk a lot unless I have something to say. But, like... In certain situations, like for example, through text, I don't like leaving someone on red or leaving someone like without a message back. Or sure. if I'm in a conversation, I don't like to like, I don't like to leave when someone's talking and I'll let someone go and go and go. But yeah. I'm like a silent person most of the time, unless I'm joking around and being a head ass. But most of the time, I'm like super silent. Like if you're in a room with me, I'm probably not going to talk for real unless like, Unless I'm forced to talk, like right now in the podcast setting, I'm forced to talk. So I'm gonna talk, but, talk then I'm gonna, but I'm more of a listener. Yeah. So I know that my girl, my future girl, or whatever girl I got, mm -hmm. I know that she's probably gonna be a talker. Mm -hmm. But I just gotta like. But she has to understand that, like, I'm just a listener, fool. Like, I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to say what needs to be said and dip out. But at the same time, I know that by myself. But sometimes I let myself talk too much because I have nothing to talk about. That is, but I talk anyway because, like, it, the situation calls for it. But I just want to be like, I under, like, for sure, I understand. Like, yeah. don't worry about it. We got it. And that's what I should, that's what I should have said. Don't worry <laughs> about it. We got it. Fist up. Keep it moving. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that shit. 
I'm gonna start mm. just doing that shit to be real with you. I just I just fix my own problem just talking through it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro. I can't be with a girl who I can't sit in silence with. Mm. If I can't like if you feel the need, that's like some young shit to me, bro. Like young girls be feeling like the need for constant entertainment. Mm-hmm. But like that's how come I'm low key starting to like really like whenever I was younger I was in the MILFs, but like now that I'm like twenty five and I'm getting closer to like being older, like thirty year old women, bro, be hitting different, bro, because they can sit in silence, bro. <laughs> they be tired too. <laughs> mm-hmm. They got shit going on too, bro. So I say that to say like Nah, bro. I that's some young shit to me. If you can't, if I always feel if you always feel like I need to be speaking with you at every moment that we're together, that's gonna be too exhausting for me, bro. I just wanna, I just wanna cuddle, bro. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. I just wanna cuddle, bro. I don't like. I don't care about talking. I just wanna cuddle, fool. Like, yeah, I need a girl who's like considering silence too, bro. Just cause like I'm gonna try to be an entertainer, low key. So, like, my whole life is going to be talking too much, like, doing the most. And whenever I'm with you, I need to be able to just sit with you and just be quiet. I can dig that. Type shit. But at the same time, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't think I can have a silent girl. I mean, she don't got. I'm not saying, bro. I'm not saying be silent like we never speak. I'm saying we need to be able to, like, have that break. Like, I'm if I'm with my girl, we finna be like best friends, bro. So we finna want to speak to each other. We finna wanna. It's finna be like my relationship with you in the sense of like we finna be chopping it up. But if we can't have a moment of just like, if it always has to be like a back and forth, like that's gonna be too exhausting for me, bro. Because my life is gonna be like that. Like, every other aspect of my life is going to be talking with people in interviews, talking with people here, talking with people here, having to, like, talk. So, like, I'm going to talk with my girl. Like, that's my girl, bro. That's, like, my best friend. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm going to talk with her, but I also need moments where she, like you were saying, just we just cuddle and she just holds my head and I'm quiet. Mm. (laughs) Or else, like, nah, bro, I can't do that. Uh, I wish I had the girl that I want right now. Bro. <laughs> this nigga tell us forever going to be stuck in that like I want my baby, I want my shorty. I just want to cuddle with her and rub her head and be like it's okay. But see, bro, this goes back to that AI conversation. This feeling of you like want companionship, bro. That's why I feel like I feel like everybody feels like this because every time I go on the internet, I be seeing people on being on the same type of thing that you're on right now. And I'd be like, bro, we're eventually going to have, like, but robots. fuck the AI companion. I know who I want. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, no, but I'm saying, like, with the AI shit, once it gets as as advanced as I'm thinking. Oh, you get, can get who you want through the AI. Yeah. You can literally create the perfect, like, thing that you want. But I feel like through That's that. That's going to be people, weird as fuck, fool. Yeah. Because I feel like through that, bro, people are going to realize, like, it's kind of like. My whole life, bro, whenever I work towards something and I finally get it, it was less about me getting it and more about the work that I put in. So I say that to say, like, when you think about how everything in our life is fast, like, you, we niggas used to hunt for food, bro. And, like, them eating it would be the, ah, I went through all of this to, like, get this. Like, that would be the moment. That's why I hit different whenever they got food, because it's like, I literally spent the last six hours hunting this deer type shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, niggas used to take forever to, like, like do anything, bro. But now everything is fast. Like, internet is fast. Food is fast. You can just literally get everything. So it removes the work for it. And that removes the, like, ah. So I say that to say moving forward with the AI shit. Like, working for a girl to fuck with you is going to be removed. That feeling of, like, damn, bro, we've been talking for, like, eight months. Like, we went to days. And we finally gained that relationship. That's going to be removed. And even though you're finna have the perfect girl, you're not even finna really like want her because you didn't work for her. You created her. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be just how like how we have fast food now and we don't appreciate the fact that you can literally go to Zags Beach right now and get anything you want in terms of just like chicken. Like that that's is how so it's OP, be. bro. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be with the AI, bro. We're just gonna have like the perfect girlfriend and not care. <laughs> Cause it's like 
I can just I just ordered her, bro. <laughs> but to be real with you, bro, that is kind of true, bro. Like, there's times like, for example, when that's the reason why I can't be a hoe. Like, <laughs> you funny, cause like when I tried to be a hoe, mm-hmm. it didn't feel good, bro. It was like. <laughs> Cause I was like, bro, these girls, I don't even want in the first place. And the ones I got, they're really, it wasn't that hard. Yeah. Because, I don't know. Like, and it's not like, and I don't want them. I don't like them. So, like, why am I doing this? Yeah. So, it's kind of like a, uh, so I end up cutting them off. That's not really Riz for real, bro. I don't think I got Riz for Bro, I, you definitely got Riz, bro. <laughs> I, I'm bro, stop, bro, stop, bro. I'm trying you claiming you don't got hoes and you don't got ribs, bro. When I clearly have seen you acquire hoes, bro, like you're literally blatantly lying, bro. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being gaslit. <laughs> I'm not blatantly lying, fool. This nigga if you knows. go through my phone, if you go through my phone right now, I got zero. I don't give a fuck about your phone, nigga. I've seen that shit in real life, nigga. Real fuck life. Name me an example in real life. Bro, I'm not about to name you an example in real life. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, the <laughs> like, fuck I don't, fool. That's why you're laughing, bro, because you know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, bro. the fuck I don't, fool. I'm not talking about any specific instance. I'm just talking about when we out and I see bitches be like, damn, bro, who that naked? Ooh, okay. Bro, I why would you be the- telling me this shit? Bro, literally, the first time I seen your ass, you was around, you was sitting around with your fucking peace sign shit on, with your shirt out, with this fucking uh button up shirt, and you had white holes all around you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, nigga. There like five white holes all around. Him. I was like, this nigga. <laughs> so please, please shut it. Please. But I had, but I, I never got with any of those girls. I know. That's why you have unspoken ribs, because it's like, them girls want you, bro, but you never like indulge in it, and that's what makes girls want you even more. That's literally what we was talking, we was talking about earlier. Is like I'm gonna have that. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you were thinking about it. You was on some Luffy shit with Boa Hancock, where you was just like, "Nigga, I'm just JoJo. I'm just Luffy type shit." But nah, bro, the hose was definitely like, and that's that's why it's so. That's why it's so perfect. It's like a loop. Because, like, you don't think about it, which makes them want you more. And you don't think about that, which makes them want you more. Like, it's like a perfect loop, bro. But I think at some point, bro, you did start thinking about it. And that's what made you kind of lose your riz. Because mm. yeah. you did start thinking about it. And you was overthinking about it because of the dilly shit. Mm. That's what made you, like, slow key start losing your riz. Because it was like, damn. Now I'm too think, thinking about it too much, and girls can feel that. Like, girls are really good at feeling energy, bro. Like, they're really good at that shit. They're just feeling like, oh, this nigga's on some desperate shit. Oh, this nigga's on some like, this is like, well, girls can tell when you really don't give a fuck, bro. And you started to give too much fucks. <laughs> mm. But I mean, I think you back, bro. You you seem like you've been chilling. Yeah, I'm almost there. I feel like I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm still making I'm still making mistakes, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah, I'm 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 becoming him. <laughs> Slowly. Yeah, it's a it's Slowly a it's a it's a work in progress, bro. Like I'm still not even at like prom soul yet, bro. I'm like thirty percent there, bro. Like I was talking, you know what's crazy, bro? I was talking to this girl. I won't disclose who it was, but we both know her. But I was talking to this girl. And she was like, um, she was like, damn, bro, you slick starting to like not glow up. But she was like, you slick starting to like glow up, not like how I look, but glow up like with my energy. Mm-hmm. And she was like, damn, as soon as you get rich, it's going to be over. And I was like, damn, when she said that, I don't know, something about her saying that just like made me even like want to go even harder. Because I was like, damn, bro, when I get rich and slick, it's going to be over, bro. Because that's really the only thing I'm missing, bro. Like, I'm confident in myself. I'm creative as fuck. I got a lot of shit going for me. When I get money, it's a rap, bro. <laughs> like, it's a fucking rap, bro. Once I get a bag for real and, like, I can just do whatever the fuck I want, bro, it's over, bro. It's over. <laughs> it's literally over. Mm-hmm. I just, I just, uh, damn. It just goes back to, like, I just want my, I just want, I just want a serious relationship. Just one, bro. 
Just one. That's the thing about the law of attraction, bro. The more you think about the fact that you want a serious relationship, it's going to, in your subconscious, make you think, I don't have that. I'm lacking that. And therefore, you're going to put out that energy of I'm lacking. Oh, um, then I become, then I become desperate. Yeah. And then you'll become lacking that for real. Oh, for sure. Then I just need to chill. Yeah, so you, yeah, <laughs> like chill, bro. Because <laughs> you're literally pushing out that energy and you're not knowing that you're pushing out that energy and you're keeping yourself in the same hole, essentially. Yeah. And now that I'm pushing out that energy, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking yeah, up my bro. psyche. Because think about, bro, think about a fucking early college JoJo. He did not give a fuck about that shit, bro. <laughs> you did not give a fuck. Bro, when I first met you, you did not give a fuck, bro. You, like, I'm not saying that, like, Bro, I'm not saying that, like, you're a worse person or a better person. I'm just saying, like, when I first met you, bro, I was like, this nigga Jojo, bro, you're really him, bro. Yeah, I was You're really shit. him, bro. Like, freshman and you year. Said- huh? Yeah. Freshman year, I was doing different shit. Like, when I, because, gonna- like, that was, the, that was the year where um I went from 145 pounds to 174, and I got ripped as shit. And then, like, I was trying yeah. to pursue this girl, and I was just, like, confident as fuck. I was going hard as hell. But then, when that girl yeah. said, like, hey, like, and I was the girl I was pursuing, and I was getting her, and then, like, she said I manipulated her, that kind of fucked me up a lot. So I went celibate. So then I started, like, becoming, I started, like, just focusing on myself and not, like, really trying to get girls at all. And all these girls tried to start get trying to get at me. And then when the when I finally started, like, took the uh, took the dive, I started getting fucked up. And then Dilly happened. That yeah. shit, like, destroyed everything. Because, like, around that Dilly situation, I think that that shit happened. At the same time I found out I was in debt, and at the same time I found out that my girlfriend broke up with me, all mm-hmm. at the same time. And that shit fucked my ass up, my nigga. God, damn, that is a lot back to back, bro. Yeah. That Around that time period, like, I couldn't look girls in the eye. I couldn't look men in the eye. Like, I would walk down with my head down and shit. I would, like, start, like, uncontrollably crying out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy, fool. <laughs> that shit was fucking insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm sorry. Bro. How do you mean to laugh at you, bro? I'm just imagining you. Like I remember seeing you just going about your day on some happy JoJo shit. <laughs> so I'm just imagining you going about your day on some happy JoJo shit. I'm like, what's up? And then you go back to your dorm room <laughs> and you sit there. <laughs> no, no, it was not even like that. It was even like that. Bro. It was like this, like. I would walk. I was walking to class, sad as fuck, listening to Mick Jenkins. Like Mick Jenkins just put out a song, so yeah. I would make this song, and I was like, "God damn!" I would just be sitting in class, trying to pay attention, and then all of a sudden, like I would just think about like um, Dilly and how, and like I had like this vision of like it was like a very vivid vision where yeah. like like we were old people. We were like old people, like sitting on the porch, seeing like seeing our kids play outside and shit, our old our grandkids and shit. Yeah. And I was like, God damn! And I started having a panic attack. And then when I started having a panic attack, I would just like get up from the get up from the room, get up from the room, go to the bathroom, start un- uncontrollably crying and like like dry heaving and shit. And then I would go back. <laughs> I, after I finish, I'm like, I'm, I'm, like in my head, I'll be like, I'm being a little bitch. I need to chill the fuck out. And I was like, stop being a little that's bitch. That's real as fuck, though, bro. Like, whenever you're going through shit like that, whenever you're in that, bro, it's hard not to cry, bro. Like, it's really hard not to like be emotional. But then you mm-hmm. look back on it and you're like, damn, bro, I'm being a little bitch, bro. Or even in the moment. But the only reason I'm dying so hard, bro, is just. <laughs> It's just, I've never seen you uncontrollably cry, bro. So the image of thinking about you uncontrollably crying, bro, is just fucking hilarious, bro. Oh, God. It's not funny, but it is because it's like I've never seen you in that element. So it's very, like, off-putting in a sense of, like, bro, what is this man all right? Yeah, only, like, I think only one of my friends have seen me cry, bro. This nigga over here, like, 
I just want to move. I just want to move. Oh shit, bro! Yeah, Sorry. I think I think like only one person outside of my mom have seen me cry, fool. Yeah, I think um. Damn, all of y'all have seen me cry. I've seen you cry, nigga. <laughs> I've seen you cry. I think Charlie. I think Charlie is the only person other than my mama that have seen me cry ever since I became an. Ad- Wait, I've even my. I only seen. I only cried like. Okay, Jacob seen me cry, because I was around the time when I was uncontrollably crying. Like, like I was at the tree. I was at the tree, and like. Sensei. I was at the tree and I was walking this class and I started uncontrollably crying and Jacob was there too. And what he, is- just, he just gave me a he just gave me a hug, fool. He's like, I know, fool. Oh damn, bro, that's real as hell. Shout out Jacob. On me. And I was like, for sure. <laughs> He's like, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. But that shit was fucking crazy, bro. That's the first time and that was the first time I cried in like forever. So that shit hit different. Bro, I remember I cried and PB started roasting me. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck, though. It was funny. I was crying and he started roasting me and I started laughing. So I was low key appreciative of the fact that he roasted me. Because I was crying over some like very like melodramatic shit. Like I was crying over this girl who like had like did me dirty and shit. And I was like, bro, I don't even really give a fuck about this bitch. Like, why am I crying over this bitch? I'm just sad that like she did me like that. Um, yeah. But uh, he, he roasted me. He was like, "Damn, you really crying over some some uh, like she." He was talking about the girl. He was like, "Damn, you really crying over some five out of ten coochie, nigga? Really? <laughs> That's what you want right now?" I was like, "Nah, you right, you right, you right." I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Nah, low key, low key, bro. Low key, PB really came in the clutch, bro. Cause we he like made me laugh and he gave me a blunt too, bro. Real nigga shit, bro. Like, in hindsight, like, he really came through for me that day, bro. Because I was dead ass, like, hurt about that shit. Because it was the first time I ever got cheated on, bro. Mm. Yeah, so I was like, damn, she really did me like that. Wait, she t- oh, this was high school? No, this is, um, this is college, bro. What? Yeah, this is college. This was when we used to live at Curry Trail, bro. Oh, this is a different girl? Yeah. You had a relationship in college? I mean, not really. It was a situation ship that I got too invested in. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's how come he was also just like, bro, that's not even your bitch for real. Like, why are you mad? Like, why are you crying about this shit? That's how it be, bro. 